is Camden Bro from BCTV, and um, what's your name? Sumner Scott from Barrington. Nice. Uh, can you tell me a bit about your car or vehicle? It's a 52 Ford F1. It's been in my family since 1985. My father and I did it back when I was 17. And as you can see, we've redone it a couple of times. It's a Ford 351 Windsor with a C6 automatic, Ford 9 inch. Uh, it's been a family affair for the past four years that my wife and my two daughters have helped me rebuild. So it's been a fun project. Very nice. Um, is it a blast to drive? Yeah, this is the actually the second show we've had out and it actually goes very well, very well. Um, so automatic or manual? It's uh, automatic, automatic with power steering, power brakes and air condition. Getting old, got to have that foo foo stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Well, um, thank you for your time and we really enjoy your truck. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate have a great day. Dan Smith, I live in South Burwick, Maine. The car is a 1931 two-door sedan. How'd you get it? In 1960, my father knew I was wanting a Model A. He saw it sitting in the parking lot of the Kittery Trading Post. Told me, come on, we're going to go for a ride. i got to show you something. Took me to Kittery Trading Post, and of course I fell in love with it. And he bought it for my birthday in 1960. Uh, it was pretty beat up. It had made it through the war. I drove it to high school, drove it to work, and then when I joined the service, I parked it. And then it waited for years and years before I could get a chance to restore it. How long did it take to restore? Eight years. Eight years in your garage? Yeah. I did all the work, everything except the engine work. Did all the body, paint, interior, everything. Um, it took that long because it was sort of on the bolt of the month plan. In order to, for reliability for touring, I convert it to a 6 volt alternator. I have radial tires on it which really make a big difference in the handling. Uh, converted uh, the ignition actually is an electronic ignition with an internal uh, advancement which uh, really aids in, in the performance of the car. How much do you drive it now? I, I drive it uh, enough to keep it uh, you know active take it for rides around, uh, up for gas, uh, I take it to shows. It's, uh, it's a fun to car to drive, but it takes a little bit of work.
I'm Kim Nebro from BCTV, and I'd like to ask you a few questions about your car. Sure. Okay, so first off, what make and model is it? This is a 1958 Ford Skyliner. Uh, it's actually a Fairlane 500. Um, they made those from 1957 to 1959. Um, is it like a cruiser or an automatic or manual or something? Uh, this is a three-speed automatic. Um, it's the first year in 1958 that Ford made the uh, Cruisomatic, which is the three-speed. Before that, it was a two-speed. Um, is it fun to drive? Uh, very much so. Um, I've owned it for four years. I bought the car in North Carolina. Uh, I've had it in the shop for the past two years, just getting it out about, uh, about three weeks ago. And uh, so they've had it two years and all the work from the driver's seat all the way back is basically all brand new and uh, rebuilt. Um, any custom parts on the body of the car? Uh, not really. It's pretty much stock. Um, nothing, nothing special about the car. It's the way they were built. Okay. Um, well, how much horsepower does it have? Uh, it's got a 332 uh, engine and a cubic inch engine. Uh, these cars came with either a, a 292, a 312, 332, or a 352, which was the uh, police interceptor engine. Now, this is the first step down, a 332. I'm not exactly sure how many horsepower it is, but it uh, goes pretty good. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, I hope you have a great day. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. set of plans. This so you guys can see the set of plans. So for $9.95 you bought the plans and then in the machine shop they the guys cut all the pieces out and welded it together and put put all this together. Interesting and so is it enjoyable to drive? It's a blast to drive. It makes It's a little loud so people hear you coming. I get a lot of waves and high fives which is a lot of fun. It's uh, in rain because it's not waterproof, obviously, but it is a lot of fun to drive around. It's good on gas. It doesn't like to go over 50, though. Is it automatic or manual? Manual. <laughs> That's how it's done. So, um, thank you. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.
I'm Kim Debro with BCTV, and I'd like to interview you. Terrific. What's your name? My name's Ralph Morang. And uh, what do you have here? This is a 1970 BMW R75 slash 5 motorcycle. The 75 means it's 750 cc's, and the slash 5 means it has four speeds. I don't know why they call it a 5 when it has four speeds. Nice. Um, so, is it a fun to ride on? Oh yeah, very fun. It starts right up. It's very smooth, it's quiet. It's uh, a nice, comfy bike to ride, and they were made for uh, touring this kind of model. Is it very fast? I wouldn't call it fast. I mean, I suppose it could do 90, but that's scary. <laughs> 45 is a good speed on, on these roads, you know, and taking the scenery and everything. Um, so automatic or like manual or something? There's very few automatic motorcycles. You see, like I said, a four-speed clutch and all. So, well, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, how long have you owned it? I've had it since 1983. The original owner bought it in Germany in 1970. I don't know who that was, brought it here. I'm probably the third or fourth owner, I think. But, you know, it's been with me a long time. Well, um, thank you. I hope you have a great day. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my name is uh, Matt Tanola. I'm from, uh, I live in Summersworth, New Hampshire. It's a 1969 Volkswagen, uh, started out as a convertible. Now it's a uh, Roadster. And it's called a Baja because they cut the back off and cut the front off. And I picked it up out of a barn and uh, replaced all the floors and the, all the metal had it painted. And the seats I got out of a snowbank, and uh, a friend of mine was going out of business, so I grabbed those, cleaned them up. The front end is out of a barn in New Fields. The transmission came from a car show, um, and I just took all these parts, put them all together, and built this car. And uh, now I go get groceries with it and drive it right up through December. Um, as long as there's not salt on the roads, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of smiles per mile. Stock engine? Right now it's a stock engine. I have a much bigger engine to go in it. Um, the engine that was in it before was uh, a little overkill. It would um, pull the front tires off the ground in three gears. So not quite so safe. But this is, this is tame, but it's loud and lots of smiles and people talking to me whenever I pull over and so it's a lot of fun so when I'm depressed I get in this and I go to the grocery store <laughs> Good
Good afternoon. This is Terry Wright with Berwick Community TV, and I'm here with Andy Buckman, the organizer for this year's car show done by Legion Post number 79. Thank you, Terry. Um, it is my pleasure to be here today. This is our uh, eighth car show. Uh, we started during the bicentennial with 50 cars. And here we are today with 161 cars. And uh, I would like to thank my sponsors, many of them, uh, too many to run down, uh, but a special thanks to Seacoast Printing and Awards, who does all our trophies and all our t-shirts and sweatshirts and anything that we need. Uh, and also from, um, 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 forgetting his name, that's terrible. Um, Barry Stevens from North Berwick Auto, and also uh, we have um, Dana Hall, who every year comes with an amazing amount of cars. Uh, we like to thank him, and he's also one, one of my solid supporters. Um, other than that, and definitely the town of Berwick, who has recruited me to do this car show for the bicentennial so uh, I again I would like to thank everyone that's here today and all my sponsors and all the Legion members that work hard at getting this together thank you so you said you have 161 cars they must come from all over the area um, can you tell us some of the uh, special cars that we have this year uh, well we have a pair of uh, we have a pair of uh, roadrunners that are here uh, from New Hampshire. Uh, these are the most beautiful cars I've seen in a long time. Uh, the, one is a 68 and the other one is a 69. Uh, and uh, we also have a 57 T-Bird which belongs to Barry Stevens. Uh, and we have a 55, very rare T-Bird that uh, has one of the few ones with the exhaust system is comes out through the tailpipes uh, through the bumper uh, so that belongs to Dana Hall so again uh, these are two people that really support the show uh, I probably know about every car that's here but I don't like interviews so it's kind of like uh, it's hard to think to tell you the truth <laughs> that's that's uh, fine you have we do have people here from, of course, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, uh, and and beyond. We've got a Texas guy here. I mean, you know, we have people that come from all over for this show. And uh, I've been told by many of the constituents that we have probably the best show going. So not bragging, but I'm going. To. <laughs> So this must take quite a time to put together. When do you actually start planning for the car show? Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And how many people help you? Uh, most of the time, I do most of the work. I do have, I, I get, I organize it, and then uh, when the event takes place, all my little helpers show up. They take care of setting up, they take care of getting the cars parked, they take care of the registrations. They do all the hard work, basically. Oh, I, just... I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I think they do. Yeah? Yeah. So this is your, how many years have you done this? Uh, actually, not counting last year, this would be year nine. Year nine. Plan on going for ten? Uh, they're trying to talk me into it, but uh, right now it's up in the air. It's up in the air, yep. so you may be looking for uh, someone to yep. kind of step into your position. Yep, so if there's anybody out there that would like to do it, uh, give me a call. <laughs> there you go. All right, how can they get in touch with you? 603-767-2420. All right, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to BCTV and for informing our viewers on how many cars you actually had this year. That's fantastic. And the turnout has been really, really good. Yeah, I think people were ready to get out after COVID. Oh, me too. Yeah. I, th I know I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna proceed to do the Legion Awards. We have six of those plaques to give out for the Legion Awards. We have people still counting for the other awards. Hopefully they'll be done shortly.
The First Legion Award goes to... Yes, ma'am. I do well. I, I am trainable. The First Legion Award is Chris Becrone. Am I saying that right? B-I-C-C-R-O-N-E. A 1941 Plymouth. Is Chris. Where is Chris? All right, sir. Pachoni. Pachoni. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. I feel very honored. There, Stand there for a minute. So yep. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Very well. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Appreciate it. Great. Thanks. Right, thank you. The second one goes to Ralph Morang. 1970 BMW motorcycle. Is Ralph here? <laughs> Ralph Moran. Right here. Picture guy. There we go. <laughs> Your own guy got one. Thank you. Now go figure, right? Huh? Now you gotta look at me, Ralph. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations, Ralph. Thank you. The th the third one is some guy with a 30, 1931 Ford Roadster. His nickname is Hokey. Hokey, where are you? Get up here, Hokey. Hey, thank you. <laughs> All right, Hokey. Thank you. The next one is Stan Sheldon with a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Stan Sheldon. Up here, Stan. All right. Hey, brother. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Right. Congratulations, Sam. Get on TV. Smile. You got to look at the camera, Sam, and smile. There you go. <laughs> Smiling, that's how you do it. The next one winner is Tom Browell, a 1933 Ford pickup. Tom Browell. Brownell. There you are. Hey. All right. Picture taken. Here he is. Yes. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We know you. I know you. <laughs> this way. Good boy. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. We'll get him over there. And the last one goes to Jack Conley, 1958 Ford Skyliner. Jack, where's Jack? Congratulations. That takes care of the Legion Awards. Hopefully the ladies will be done shortly with their regular counting and we'll get on with the other ones. Thank you very much. Congratulations, friend. Thank you very much. Is that shirt about you? Yeah, right. Yep, the 40s. Yeah, so the 40s, yeah. 40s. 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 You want to turn around and face All the right. camera? Right? Congratulations, Dan. Congratulations, Dan. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So, thank you. Excellent. All right, Jack. Class B. Jack Conley with the 58 Ford Skyliner. Jack. Beautiful car, Jack. That is very beautiful. Beautiful car. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Jack. <laughs> Class C, Arthur Mears, 1973 Dodge. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, Arthur. These awards, by the way, is calculated from the votes of those people who had registered cars in the show, so they're the ones that voted. Class D, Mike Guy, 2010 GT500. Mike. Class E, Tony Fournier, 1936 Chevy pickup. All right, Tommy. Class F, Sebastian Stacy, 1954 GMC. All right, Sebastian. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. That's great. Thank you. Class G, 
That's Bill Kudamanch, 1977 HD Scout Super Sport. Where's Bill? All right. Good French name. Good Congratulations, bro. Class H, Chris Redman, 1996 GMC pickup. New York Yankees. Absolutely. Oh, man. You got to take the hat off, buddy. Oh, yeah. You got to take the hat oh, off. Man. Come on. Congratulations. Thank you. Take that trophy back. <laughs> Class I, we have a repeat winner. Mike Guy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, congratulations, Class I, bro. whatever that is. Motorcycle. motorcycle. Motorcycle? Yeah. What do you have? I don't have a motorcycle. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> wait a minute. Somebody messed up. Uh, me. Recount. Uh, Recount. Yeah. Right, wait a minute. Hold on. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on while they straighten that out. Class J. Okay, sure. Ralph Moran. Yes. Come oh, on, Ralph. All right. 1970 BMW motorcycle. He's a big one. Right. Hey, Ralph, how are you doing? Congratulations. Look here, Ralph, please. Class K. Timothy Williams, a 2002 BMW. Timmy, Timothy Williams. I'm sorry, a 1976 BMW. Congratulations. Oh, that's the model. Okay. Congratulations. Class L. <laughs> Arthur Mears, 1973 Dodge. Arthur, another double winner. Loaded on by the folks. Thank you very, very much. That is crazy. Class M. Winner of a Class M is Peter Hussey in 1927, and they just wrote down the letter T. Peter Hussey, 1927. What is that vehicle? T bucket. Yep. T bucket. Yep. Hey, congratulations. congratulations. Class M. Thank you. Tony Lapan, 1960 VW bug. There's a sweet little rig over there, yes. Tony. Thank you. It's a TNT It's a, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Class O. Is a Tom Brownell, 1933 Ford, another double winner. Tom Brownell. Uh, double loser. <laughs> Thank you. I know you know me, right? <laughs> Thank you. Well, we really appreciate you folks turning out. This is. We had about, at least I think, 160 cars registered, so that we broke the record of 132 years ago. We thank you all very, very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.